I used to get them like next to my balls and like kind of under my stomach a little. But if you stay clean and dry, you won't. But I don't know how she's gonna do that with the way she's kind of overflowing, so. But after a bit, I have to go back to bed before my body is overwhelmed. I get scared that I might not get back to the bed because I'm in so much pain at that point and I just want to pass out. So as soon as I make it back and sit down on my bed, I'm not going to be able to get up for the rest of the day. She's not kidding. I've definitely got out of the shower and sat on the toilet before because I'm just too damn tired, so...
I was probably close to four. I actually looked at my graduation picture the other day. I'll have to share it on Instagram, but it's kind of crazy to think that I'm officially skinnier than I was when I graduated. And also, I just got under 300 pounds yesterday. I was 299.6, so. But I also had to pay bills after I graduated, so I got a job at a grocery store. So I focused on work for a while and not much else, aside from eating. I tried dating briefly when I was 21, but I had a hard time trusting men because of my experiences. Look, I don't fault you at all for putting up a barrier or a wall. A lot of people do that. Getting hurt sucks, and you also have the past trauma. You're stronger than you realize. Since you've lived through that, you just kind of have to take back your power and keep working forward. But you seem like a really nice lady so far. I was still gaining, but when I turned 25, that is when my weight took off because I fell down the stairs and I hurt my leg. So I could no longer work at that point. It was too painful. It took years for my leg to start to heal. I became partially bedridden. But then... Yeah, stairs are a death trap for like 600 pounders. Let's just keep it real. Your ankles aren't made to go up and down stuff when you're that big. So, poor knees. I was just at home eating all day. That's all I had to do was to eat. So then that just, I just started gaining like crazy. So over the next few years, I put on a lot more weight. And by the time I was 30, I was like 500. And when it got that bad, I tried to get help and get weight loss surgery, but no one would take me as a patient because I was too big. And that depressed me because my life was... How the hell did you get chicken on your friggin' like, on your eye? How'd you get it up there? You must have shot that sucker up there. But also, Dr. Now will take you. He's the fat avenger. Like, he will take care of all the fat. Already going in a downward spiral. When I was 32, my dad passed away from cirrhosis of the liver from alcohol. I was, you know, shocked and than I thought it would. I started gaining more weight after that because of the depression and missing him and that's when my health and body really started to decline because I was already so big and barely able to do anything. So she fell into the, I can't do it, I'm just gonna beat myself up, not believe in myself. She needs to start believing in herself again. I don't think she's ever thought that she could get down to that point, but hopefully she will by the end of this episode. And when I was 35, I developed a severe lymphedema that made it even more impossible to try.